Come with me to the Philippines. So it is 12 a.m. midnight and I am going to my gate for my flight. Uh, we are on the red eye and first stop on our trip to the Philippines is to pick up my little yellow Asian lady, my mom. So we're gonna drop off in New York first and we'll see what happens. And we're starting off right here in Jamaica on the track and field. We're here at the starting line. Look at me getting ready, waiting patiently. I'm exhausted, honestly, guys. Um, so we're boarding right now. It's the middle of the night. We're on the red eye. I'm exhausted, but this is the first step of the journey. And once we get to New York, we at least have some time to chill out, meet up with everybody, and get some food along the way. So that's really, really great. I'm really excited about that. It's our crazy thing is my plane was delayed like an hour. But for some strange reason, um, I still showed up on time for its usual time. And then it ended up only being delayed 20 minutes. So guys, if your flight is delayed, still show up for the regular time. You never know if it's going to get pushed up. And it did for me because I got like four notifications saying, oh, your flight's delayed, your flight's delayed, your flight's delayed. All the way until it was literally like, hey, we're going to leave an hour later. But when I got to the gate, the attendants, they were saying, oh, no, it's not delayed. It's still on time. It's not delayed. It's still on time. It was only 20 minutes delayed. Only 20 minutes delayed. And we still, you know, got there on time. Now, what I'm actually doing with this trip is... I am doing like two separate round trips, one to New York to pick up my mom. And then from there, I'm going to travel with her to the Philippines. And then from the Philippines, I'm going to travel back to New York and then do a self-transfer and travel back home. So it's a lot going on. Uh, we actually have two layovers on our flight to the Philippines, one in Frankfurt, Germany. Hopefully we could get some German chocolates. If you haven't had German chocolates, it is amazing. It is amazing, amazing chocolate, uh, especially Belgium chocolate. Ooh, one of the best, one of the best. And then after that, we have a layover in Singapore. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to see that Singapore waterfall um, that everybody keeps showing when they go to the Singapore airport. But my cousin told my mom that that part isn't actually directly in the airport. You have to kind of leave the airport and come back in later. So we'll see how that works. Right now, I'm in the air. It was raining. The turbulence was crazy. Like every time I almost fell asleep, the turbulence would shake and scare me. So not too, too bad, but still kind of nice, kind of relaxing at times when it wasn't too crazy. But yeah, this is New York and we made it perfectly fine, perfectly okay and right on time, especially for a flight that was supposed to be delayed an hour was delayed 20 minutes we made it right on time grabbing my luggage now yeah we made it it is muggy af but we are here in new york so i'm excited and guys if you're traveling just always bring a raincoat i went from like really really warm weather to muggy drizzling rainy weather and it's one of the easiest ways to get sick especially because the planes are so cold, but love you. And guys, this is me and my my nephew Phoenix. Look at him. He was so excited to see me. I'm so excited to see him. He's he talks a lot. <laughs> he talks a lot, but he's amazing. So as you guys can see, this is New York. Coming from the airport, it's really muggy. Like 
there is rain all over the window. I could not get a clearer image, but there's so much construction going on at JFK Airport. So, yeah, more of me in Phoenix. <laughs> I love the kid. And from here, guys, I am starving. So we are going to the International House of Pancakes for a little breakfast brunch thing going on. Uh, we're planning on getting, I believe, omelet, chicken, and pancakes. Um, my nephew got steak and, and hash browns. We're just going to share it out. Um, and y'all, the chicken was good. The chicken was good. Pancakes were fluffy. Just just like a basic brunch type of thing going on. I might have the itis soon. Who knows at this point? Who really, really knows? But yeah, we are going to bring my stuff in because I brought a whole bunch of clothes. So as always, family has to go through it, decide if there's stuff that they want or if they don't want. As you can see, my sister wanted a lot of my stuff. So that's great. Empty luggage. Who's this? <laughs> well, this is my best friend laura i love her so much haven't been able to see her in like two years so i am super super excited super super thankful and don't mind me she actually brought my mom flowers but you know gotta pretend they're for me now we are on our way to go eat again but this time we are going to one of my favorite types of food which is korean barbecue and hot pot k-pot it's all you could eat guys so we're gonna eat but a little little like dance montage because the place looks like a club and it's nice and cool um this is where we were seated we had a large group and as you can see nightclub vibes right just walk through a nightclub and you get to all the food. It's kind of buffet style. So take whatever you want. Cook your own food. Um, and you get your own type of broth as well. If you do the hot pot as well. You could do either hot pot. Or you could do Korean barbecue. Or you could do both. And it's all you could eat. So there's options for meats. There's options for different sauces. They even give instructions on how to make different broths or sauces. Um, definitely, definitely a lot of... of flavored marinated meats even chilled meats i got a whole lot of food vegetables everything so i'm gonna head back to the table because we're gonna go and cook this and it's gonna be a good good time because i haven't had this in a long time so as you can see everybody has food everybody is excited this is amazing um and there's my mom, you know, doing her thing and oiling the grill, which we actually forgot to do before we even <laughs> before we even uh, started cooking. We actually had to have them give us a second grill. But yeah, so food was fantastic. Food was amazing. And yeah, um, we actually ended up burning the first grill. The guy had to come take it out and give us a new one. And we saw what the other side of the table was doing because there's two grills on the table. So it's literally a cucumber in the oil and you take the tongs and you just go all the way around. Don't ask me how the cucumber doesn't burn on a hot pan, but it doesn't. It really doesn't. It just glides smooth. Um, and then, of course, got to have a little food cooking montage because who doesn't like to see meat being grilled and you know plates was done plates was done now time for dessert they had ice cream they had cake and a little fruit so I'm excited for that she ate her stuff so quickly <laughs> and the ice cream they had like sorbets as well and of course Secret surprise, my mom's birthday is actually a week after I landed, so we just went all out and said it was her birthday, so full-on club hot pot vibes. She was happy, her friends were there, and she ended up sharing her cake with us, so that's great. I love cake. So, blow a wish, mom. Yay! See? Always a good time. We are in Dunkin' Donuts getting our breakfast in Brooklyn. This is our breakfast. Later on, 
this evening we're gonna fly back to well not fly back we're gonna fly to the philippines to manila but we are on multi-plane layover so we're going to germany we're going to singapore and then we're going to manila so i hope you're excited for right now though we're eating duncan and we're doing last minute errands um but yeah <laughs> so i'm definitely definitely gonna take you guys on a journey with me so i hope you guys look forward to that and this is not this is not a dunkin donuts sponsorship <laughs> not at all we just hungry since we're leaving this evening i am running errands with my mom her last minute errands just to make sure that everything is good everything's okay and she could travel with more of a peace of mind um, so running around with her and pretty much just the basics, you know, mail her bills, uh, pay her bills, whatever, last minute things. So, you know, <laughs> and, and look at this, look at this dog that we saw. This dog was all the way out. Um, it was all the way out the car. There were times where it was jumping and we were like, oh my gosh. But no, very, very loud. Very happy dog. Of course, some last minute cleaning by Wally's cousin who has a bit of trouble figuring out where to go. Probably drinks a little bit. Who knows? But he is helping us out. Okay, guys, we are getting ready to pack. Um, well, not pack. We are finalizing packing before we go on this three plane long journey but i got everything here don't mind my mama's house do not mind it please but yeah we're ready we're ready to go ready to go oh and also like she has other suitcases so what i just showed you there's more there's so much more so we are now at the airport, JFK airport. We're in the line for TSA. The line is long. Somehow, some way, it is moving. It's like three ridiculously long lines. But we did get through. We got through in time. We got there early, guys. It's always helpful to get there a little bit early, especially if you know the type of airport you're going to. If it's like a big, big airport, definitely get there early because there's going to be a whole, whole bunch of people. Um, so... For me, what I always like to do is I always try to find my gate first thing, even if I have a lot of time, because then somehow, some way, I subconsciously remember it. So even if I walk away or go somewhere, I always know where to go back to, and I'm not rushing to look. So here we are. It's still afternoon. We actually are leaving kind of when the sun is setting down. So we're just chilling out here. Mom's checking Facebook. And make sure you don't lose your little Asian lady when you guys are starting to board because, you know, they help a lot with traveling to Asian countries. So get you a little Asian lady when you're traveling to an Asian country because just having one helps a lot. You could always um, rent a yellow person. I don't know if you actually can, but if you can, make friends with one. It definitely, definitely helps because um, they tend to make friends with all the other people around you. So... We are on the, we are boarding right now to go to our first layover, which is Frankfurt, Germany. We are flying with Singapore Airlines. This is like business class. We not there yet. One day, but Singapore Airlines. And one thing I like is that they, they make sure you're fed. And I'll get into that. I will absolutely get into that. And cool thing is, is like their TVs have this like, this like PSP looking thing that could come out and you could use that to control the TV. So let me see if I could pull it out. Mine was a bit hard to pull out, but the other people, so easy. Yeah. See, like a little video game in your hand. I do wish they had games on there. They don't. They have like games you could play with your mobile, but in, whatever. Um, so yeah, mom is already asleep. We haven't even taken off yet, but she's doing good. And here is their, guys, I have to talk about this. This is their, like, safety instructions. They made it like a movie, like a movie. They are not anywhere near a plane, and you literally feel like you're watching a K-drama. It was exciting. I was invested. Um, so here we are, guys. 
We are officially leaving New York. The only reason you could tell that is because of all the lights. People need to turn off the lights because of the light bill, but that's on them. Um, but <laughs> but we are officially leaving New York, and we are on our way to our first destination of Frankfurt, Germany. So I'm hoping that it goes smooth. I'm really, really hoping that it goes smooth. I'm really jet lagged already, but we got we got to travel. So this is our first meal and it is a pan roasted filet of fish with lemon white wine sauce and a farro and green pea salad with shrimps. We have a sticky toffee pudding dessert and then of course you have your bread roll and butter. So it's it's looking pretty nice. I know I know the lentils and the fish might not look good, but let me tell you, one, they give you real utensils. Two, that pan roasted filet of fish was so good. The sticky toffee pudding was good. It's such a fiber rich meal. It's almost like Singapore Airlines is saying, you're not going to be backed up at all on this trip. You're going to enjoy. And they give you wet wipes after. So that was nice. You you're regular and you clean so hold it down and then after that right for like a refreshment a couple hours later we had options there was like a barbecue shredded chicken on a bread roll i got the pizza because i was just like that's easy that's easy and the guy gave it to me held sideways i don't think it was intentional but it still tasted good oh i found this i found this guys so when you take the little tray there's one part that swipes and it's a mirror y'all know what that's for don't you <laughs> or maybe you don't maybe my mom didn't she used it as a mirror to look at herself i thought it was for something else but we're not gonna get into that that has nothing to do with me if singapore airlines knows its customers it knows its customers it is what it is and here we are though in frankfurt germany which is such such a like city city i was so surprised especially coming from new york i always get surprised when i see cities being so new like new york skyscraper ish type of things because i know new york city is like one of the biggest cities in the entire world but then to go and see another city and see how vast it is it's amazing um and like i said guys if you stop at a lay over here get some chocolate it's so good i get to say this guys but um Singapore Airlines keeps it very, very clean. Their staff is very kind and very nice and so they have staff so I got very nice. The bathrooms had like a mirror and some vanity lights around it. If I can, I will record for you. Um, it's also, they have hand lotion. I was like, okay, they are nice in here. Yeah. <laughs> so, we are going to, we are on flight, we are about to be on flight two of three. So, we may have gotten tired, but we are ready. Our next flight to Singapore is about 12, 13 hours, and it is the longest flight of our trip. And then after that, we have a shorter one, which is about four hours. So, now we're just getting ourselves the tree. Since our first stop is done, I'm just going to go to the bathroom and brush my teeth. This is actually one of our longest flights, I think second longest, so we're already in a new day. And I'm just going to walk you through Frankfurt, Germany's airport. It is pretty much the same as every other airport. Um, I was actually shocked. I usually expect airports to kind of have their own international spin on it. So the fact that it really looked almost exactly like JFK's airport was a bit shocking, but easy to follow. Reboarding. <laughs> Pretty much the same place we came from. Coming. On flight number two. The flight from Frankfurt to Singapore was is one of the longest flights. It's about 13, 14 hours. So, of course, I had my anime going on. But here we are taking off. Had to catch up on One Piece while I'm at it. I, I purposely waited 
10 weeks to, <laughs> so that I could just watch it on the plane. Um, but yeah, leaving Frankfurt, Germany, going on the longest part of our trip to Singapore. And for lunch, I got the roasted basil marinated chicken filet with tomato uh, vegetable sauce and buttered potato gnocchi. Um, and then there was a German po uh, potato salad, which was too sweet for me. But this lunch meal was amazing. The chocolate mousse fantastic divine and i literally ate all of the lunch so so good well except for the german potato salad it was a bit too sweet but honestly one of the best meals i've ever had on a plane and after that right we had breakfast at some point i got an omelet with cream cheese and <laughs> this was the worst tasting meal I had. I went from something so good to so bad. Um, but it was one of the worst tasting meals I had. The yogurt was great. The fruit was pineapple, cantaloupe, and one grape. But that part was the best. The The omelet was... I'm sorry, Singapore Airlines. The omelet was, was so bad. <laughs> it was so, so bad. But it is what it is. We are now arriving in Singapore. So I'm hoping we are able to at least see some part of the gardens. And as you can see, we're coming out. We have to go all the way to a different terminal. Singapore has four terminals. And I believe we are in terminal two. And we have to go to terminal three. And they actually have transportation between each terminal with train. We have just arrived in Singapore. We are going to our next gate, which is our third flight and our final flight. And then we officially reach our destination. It is exhausting. I'm tired. And we're about to get on that sky train. I'm going to walk you guys through. Well, I'm taking you guys, not walking you. Taking you guys on the train from Terminal 2 to Terminal 3. There's different trains for each terminal. And then there's a bus. I think that goes from Terminal 1 to Terminal 4. I think Terminal 4 you can only get to by bus. But this is a little sped up version. It goes a little bit fast. And then as you turn, right, you go into this little whoo building. And right through here, if you start to look on the side, there you go. That's that's the waterfall place. And this part is like kind of outside the airport. I don't even know how to get to it. I don't think I'm going to have time to go and look for it. But if you take these trains, you get to see it. So it's somewhere. It's somewhere in there. Okay, guys, it is somewhere in there. Um, but this airport was actually a bit weird for me, and I'll explain. But first, they have, like, garden decorations throughout, and I feel like this gives it so much more life. Because look how, like, bright and, and luscious this is. Look at Singapore. I'm going to show you guys this. Look at that. And it's shiny, guys. It's so shiny. And there's more. I want to say this is what I mean by, like, when I think international airports are supposed to have their in own international spin. Because, like, Singapore Airport has, you know, the Singapore Gardens and, and things like that. But even how they set it up, it's literally like a mall. It's like a mall. And I actually think it functions like a mall because um, each gate has their own security check-in. Like, so I'm, I'm assuming people come here literally just to shop, which is weird. Hey guys, so we are in Singapore. We are, it's weird. This place is honestly, it's like a mall. And then each gate has its own security checkpoint within it. So before you even get into the waiting area for the gate, like um, there's a security you have to go through, like the same TSA type of thing. And I think that's mainly because this place probably does function as like a mall and they have a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of stuff. They have a food court. There's a waiting area outside. So I don't know if you can see behind me, there's a glass. There's a waiting area outside. And then when the flight is ready, they open it up. Everybody gets online. They go through the usual TSA kind of boarding. You have to take out your laptop, take out everything. The only thing is you get to keep your shoes on and they check your boarding pass. They check your passport and everything. Um, so right now we are waiting here. I 
wet and brushed out my hair so it'll be dry by the time we land. I'm gonna wrap it. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it on this flight. I didn't wrap it on the other ones because I was just ugh, tired. But we are going to be boarding soon and we should be arriving in Manila, the Philippines, our last destination in about three to four hours. So my hair will be fluffier then. <laughs> Okay, guys, so since I did the prep for my hair so that way I would look decent when I come out to see my cousins who I haven't seen in a long time and my aunt as well. Um, but yeah, we're ready to go to the Philippines. My hair is already starting to dry. You see these curls forming. Love this about Singapore Airlines. I forgot to tell you, but they always give you a warm towelette in the beginning so you could wash your face off which is great because I have been in a plane for way too long and remember guys like this part is actually the shortest part of the trip it's only four hours Singapore to Manila Philippines and we are going to like go and have a good time I'm ready for it I'm exhausted Okay, guys, so I hope you don't mind. I'm doing a little quick train makeup. I mean, plane makeup, sorry, because I want, I know I look tired. And so <laughs> we're going to do my makeup in the plane. And I'm keeping it very light, very simple. For those ladies that travel with makeup, and I know you see all those videos with girls um, having, their, having to throw their makeup out at TSA, my secret to it is I don't put everything in one bag or at least like not in a Ziploc baggie or a, or a baggie in my bag. I actually just take each individual item and just lay it out in the in my carry on itself. And I make sure that they are all less than 3.5 fluid ounces because that is how I am able to get through with everything. And sometimes I'll like separate them. So that way it's easier for me to make sure nothing gets taken. So, yeah. And then I'm just going to set the spray. And guys, see? Simple, flawless. I actually look more awake. I look happier. I look golden. So I don't look like I've been flying for over 24 hours. And just going to put my glasses on because I want to watch. And look at this. The mirror is like on every single Singapore airline. Now... We were able to get a second breakfast. That's right, second breakfast. And this one, I did not go with the omelet. I went with the soy garlic chicken with yellow noodles, which wasn't too, too bad. And of course, I had the yogurt and the seasonal fresh fruit. So I was happy with this second breakfast. And weird thing is, they give you like a little thing of milk. I tried it. It's honestly, you, you, you practically get zero milk. <laughs> you practically get zero milk it's like no point we are now coming into the philippines i'm very excited i'm very exhausted but to see these little islands come up just tells me your whole flight time is over guys we landed we are tired hair is dry um and we are gonna go through the whole process for everything and I am going to try to get some pictures of Philippines, mainly Manila, before I end this whole vlog. But I will see you in the next one because I'm still going to record while I'm out here and still try to do maybe a wake up in the Philippines vlog next week. So yeah, I'm excited to be here. It's definitely very, very warm. It's kind of actually a little bit cool. I have a jacket on, but it is warmer than anywhere else I've been so far today so we're here we're gonna have a good time uh, and I'm here to see Benny so we found my sister my not my sister my mom's sister and her and my cousin so me and my cousin are gonna go get the car so that way we can help the two sisters <laughs> we had to run away from them <laughs> I can't explain why, but if you know, you know, and most people won't know, but the people that do know, they know. <laughs> but yeah, we are now leaving Manila. Last time I was here, they did not have this highway. So this highway actually 
bypasses all the traffic i don't know if any of you guys have seen amazing race but they literally had a part where you were running through manila traffic and there's a lot of construction going on so we are in the car we are leaving manila and hopefully not getting caught in the 5 p.m traffic and as you can see there's less buildings here because we are headed towards the barrio we are headed towards farmland territory which is beautiful because i think actually mornings on the farmland is a bit better trying to jolly me you guys Yeah, we had to stop at Jollibee. <laughs> they had, they absolutely just wanted Jollibee. And we had to go get some groceries because uh, we have no idea what's at the house. And my mom wants to cook. Well, we are in Robinson Supermarket. <laughs> the light went out. I think that woke me up. I'm so jet lagged, but literally. In the middle of the supermarket. Yeah, so we, we got a whole bunch of stuff because, like, even just basic stuff. And now we're in Chow King. I don't know about you guys, but I used to be, like, a Chow King girly over Jollibee. And we got the family meal, so everybody eating everything. And, yo, the seasoning on the fried chicken, amazing. Um, but now we're going to just start to head to our final destination. But we are going to just stop off at my cousin's place so that way i can meet her corgi who is all attitude especially if he is not getting attention finally finally made it to the house um house is still being renovated but majority of it's done i am exhausted i've been in and out of sleep jet lag is crazy guys um so i'm gonna catch some rays and i will get back I'll get back and I'll show you what a day here in the Philippines in the barrio is like. Bye.